In this lesson, we are going to create a submit button. To begin, we want to scroll up to the right hand side and under our task area, we want to click on add new field, scroll down and click on button. And as we move across, we'll go ahead and place our new button using our guidelines. Once it's in place, go ahead and left click your mouse to place the button. And then we're going to move down to the right hand corner. And as we hover over that corner, you'll see that we get double arrows. Once you have the double arrows, left click your button and move your button into position. Now we're going to right click on the button and left click on properties. And this will bring us our button property box. Here we're going to rename our button to submit. And we're going to add our tooltip. Next, we're going to click on appearance. And we want to change our font size to 14 points and leave it at Helvetica Bold. We're going to click on our Option tab. We're going to leave our layout as Label Only. And we're going to change our behavior to an Outline. Under Label, we're going to type in the word Submit. And Submit will show on our button. Next thing we want to do is click on Actions tab. We want to leave it at Mouse Up. And under our Select Actions, we want to change that to Submit a Form. Now when we click Add, we will get our Submit Form Selection dialog box. To have the form emailed to us, the first thing we want to do is type in mail to colon without any spaces, put in our email address. The export format, we have a couple of different methods we could use. We could have it send the entire PDF document. Or if we have the PDF document saved on our computer, we can save on file space by using the FDF format. We can go ahead and click on comments and incremental changes to PDF and that information will be sent to us. We want all fields sent and then we're going to click OK. Now you see that we have our action. We'll click close and now our button is created. I'm going to come up to the top and click Preview. And now when our user clicks on Submit, they will receive the Select Email Client dialog box and they have the choice to use their desktop, Outlook, or their internet email to send the form.